Hey folks, C.A. Rachna Ranade here and I welcome you all to a very very important video wherein we are going to discuss how to create a monthly income post retirement but how through an SWP okay so you might be wondering where did this topic come out from and the answer is very simple have a look at this oh so many comments it is because of you who all keep on requesting me keep on motivating me to create more and more content around making india more financially literate and that is the reason why we have chosen this topic for our friday session but before i move on to the concept of swp i would really want to thank brajesh and little naksh for their wonderful comments well before we move on what happened shirt is different are it's okay i have come to tell you something really important focus okay so saturday and sunday which ones 15th and 16th of july 2023 i'm going to conduct a live session in pune but for what for the technical analysis course but that is going to be in marathi so if you have some friends who would want to learn technical analysis from me right from the basics that is in marathi in the in many people's mother tongue then don't forget to check out our website www.rachnaranade.com where the registration will be available and uh, there are limited seats only 25 seats are there so those who want to come and learn from me in a live classroom environment then don't forget to register as early as possible link is there in the description box and pinned comment now first and foremost let's understand what do we mean by swp and for that we have mr chandu chandu is here and first what chandu has done so that he can have a big corpus at his retirement he has decided that he is going to invest he is going to keep aside some money and he is going to invest in some xyz mutual fund from his bank account on the 5th of every month okay so here you can see mr chandu you can see his bank account and you can also see the mutual fund so what is happening on the 5th of every month he is transferring money from his bank account to the mutual fund and as you can see months are passing by and years have passed by almost 20 years chandu has been doing this investment without fail on the 5th of every month oh chandu has also become old enough and chandu is now nearing his retirement age now chandu is under you know two doubts number 1 what should he do with this big money that he has in his mutual fund investment now should he directly withdraw at one shot so if it does so that will be known as a lump sum withdrawal okay instead of that if he says on the first of every month what am i going to do on the first of every month i'll withdraw a little bit next month again first i'll again withdraw a little bit next month first again i'll withdraw a little bit so every month if he systematically withdraws from the mutual fund to his bank account what will be that known as that will be known as a systematic withdrawal plan okay i hope you have understood this and if you want to invest in an sip you know how that is to be done i have done a separate video for that but if you want to invest and through an sip in knowledge how can you do that by subscribing to our channel and hitting the bell icon now let's try and understand how does this swp thing work with the help of an example using ms excel right now for this what is the assumption that we have made the assumption is that the value of his mutual fund at the age of his retirement is 30 lakh rupees okay and mr chandu needs 20000 rupees per month after his retirement every single month okay so for that have a look at this so as i mentioned he has uh, the he has 6000 units of whichever mutual fund he has invested in the nav of that mutual fund is 500 rupees so obviously the value is how how, how have i calculated that 6000 multiplied by 500 and that is how we get 30 lakh rupees right now as i mentioned he needs 20000 rupees per month to be withdrawn now understand this now assume in the month of may the nav of that mutual fund goes up to 505 rupees now if he sells one unit of mutual fund how many rupees is he going to get 505 rupees now if he wants 20000 rupees then how much will he get so it's a normal you know math basic math right so uh, by selling one unit he gets 505 rupees and if he were to get 20000 rupees how much units will he have to sell we'll have to do a normal cross multiplication and that is how we derive at 39.604 or simply put this is going to be nothing but 20000 divided by 505 if if you want you can check this also now what has happened how many units did he have 6000 how much did he sell off sell off as in through swp only right through systematic withdrawal plan number of units sold was 39.604 now how much is balance units 5960.396 how did we calculate this 6000 minus 39.604 correct now if i were to calculate this remaining amount some people might be like how is this possible 
some units were sold and how is it possible that a fund value has gone up from 30 lakh to 30 lakh 10,000? Are I told you na, NAV has gone up from 500 to 505. So even if some units were sold because of the appreciation of the price of mutual fund, this value has in fact gone up. But how, how did I derive at this value? It's simple, 505 multiplied by number of units that were remaining. I hope the rationale is clear. If that be so, the same logic works for the balance view so I'm just going to speed up a little bit for the next month. Now you have to give me answers loudly. If you are, uh, you know, family members are watching you, that if they are seeing, Acha, my son, my daughter is watching Rachna's lecture and if you are looking at your mobile screen and you are giving out answers loudly, they should feel that you have gone mad. That is okay. But you have, be, you have to be completely involved in the session, right? So keep on giving me answers. What is the amount that we need to withdraw? I can't hear you. Say it loudly. Nikita got tensed behind the camera. She said, is madam asking me to give out answers? No, that is not for you. That is for the viewers. Okay. So say out loudly. How much money is needed by Chandu? 20,000 rupees. Very good. How much is the NAV? It is 510. Okay. What is the number of units those need to be sold? 39.216. How, how, how did we derive that amount? 20,000 divided by 510. Now tell me how much is the number of units remaining? How did we get that? 5960.396. Minus 39.216. 39 and how did I arrive at this value of 30, 30, 30,19,802? That was nothing but number of units multiplied by NAV. And that is how we got it. So I hope you have understood by the same logic at the end in our Excel calculation. The remaining value is 28,77,961. Now let's move on to two more important questions as to when is SIP more relevant and when is SWP more relevant. And for that, only one question is what you should ask yourself as to am I getting a steady flow of income or not? Okay, so for example, if you are getting a steady flow of income, at that time it will be very easier for you to do an SIP. But when your steady flow of income stops, you need a steady flow of income and that is why an SWP will be much more beneficial for you. So how to decide when to do SIP and when to do SWP? For that, simple, like I mentioned, if you are already working, may it be salaried income or business income or whatever, if you are already working, if you have a steady flow of income, what should you do? You should do an SIP. And if you are already, if, if you have, if you don't have a steady flow of income, that is if you are retired, then what you should do? You should do an SWP. This is clear, right? Now, second point is that when you are doing an SIP, what category of mutual fund could be chosen, especially if I'm talking about retirement planning? In that case, your goal is far off. It could be around 15 years away, 20 years away. And in that case, an equity mutual fund can be a good fit for you. Reason is very simple because it is a long-term goal, okay? But if I were to talk about an SWP, now what happens here is that ideally you are already retired, your risk appetite at that point in time could be a shade lower. So in case of SWPs, if you were to transfer your, so step number one basically will be that your SIP, which you had done in the equity mutual fund, you'll have to first transfer that to debt mutual fund. Okay. There again could be two possibilities here. You transfer that at one shot or possibility number two, you do an STP. That is a systematic transfer plan. That is not the topic of today's video. So we are not going to discuss that right now. But now assume that you have the entire money parked in a debt fund. Then you can keep on steadily withdrawing your money from that. And typically in a debt fund, because the risk appetite is, because the risk exposure is low, ideally post-retirement for an SWP, debt fund could be a better choice. Now let's come to the most important part of the video, which is, how will I understand that whatever money I have saved for retirement, for how many years will that money be enough? So let's take an example, the same example of Chandu that assume at the age of his retirement, he has a pool of 30 lakh rupees. Okay. He has invested that entire money now in a debt fund. And because it's a debt fund, let's keep our expectations realistic. Let's be a little bit conservative that assume his debt fund is going to fetch him 5% uh, as a return per year, right? CAGR. Now he wants how much per month? He wants 20,000 rupees per month. So how can he calculate that for how many years will this money be enough? So for that, I've just Googled out SWP calculator. There are a lot of calculators. I'm going to take the uh, clear tax calculator just as for an example purpose. So like I mentioned, amount should be 30 lakh and he's going to withdraw 20,000 and the expected returns, as I mentioned, let's keep it conservative to 5%. Now, what does this 24 lakh 72,000 and five year means? It means that at the end of five, I mean, after five years. So now Chandu is 
not 6 years now chandu is 65 years at 65 years so basically 5 years into retirement now after withdrawing 20000 rupees per month the final value the remaining value of his fund would be 2472570 now let's see what happens after 10 years after 10 years his remaining value will be 17 17,99,421. now chandu is how many years 75 70 years sorry let's see what happens at 75th year now remaining value is only 9,40,293 and uh, 19th year so 19 years into retirement that is 79 years only 85,000 is remaining and let's see what happens at the 20th year gone value has gone in negative so he has to say goodbye ram ram go to himalayas take sanyas finish no 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 that's not the case well can you manage your money in a better way answer is yes a bigger question to this entire thing was that i'm sure one question is still ticking ticking in your mind and that is what about the inflation impact today you may feel that 20000 is good enough but when chandu is maybe 70 years or 80 years at that time 20000 may be peanuts then how to tackle inflation how to beat the monster of inflation how inflation impacts my invest investment value if you want to learn all these things in much much more detail in a much more systematic manner what can you do you can enroll for my mastering money management course and if you are not comfortable with english there is another course in marathi as well which is called as arthik vyavasthapana chi saptavadi same course but in marathi if you are not comfortable with marathi also same course is there in kannada so the whole thought process is har ghar investor like our prime minister modi ji has said har ghar tiranga we intend to do har ghar investor and by the way all these are at a super duper affordable price it's just at 1999 additionally if you want you can use the coupon code crryt for more discounts and how to how to enroll for that you just need to visit my website www.rachanaranade.com i hope you enjoyed today's session i ho hope you found some value in this if you did please don't forget to mention that in the comment section below if you want please share this video with your friends so that this video reaches out to more and more people i hope you enjoyed this one till then take care jai hind and bye bye